Welcome back to another adventure with Finesse Fishing. This week, we're down in Southwest Florida, chasing the migrating tarpon, also known as the Silver Kings of the Ocean. After a solid breakfast, we hit the water. Being from Minnesota, where our biggest worry is a muskie or pike, saltwater fishing adds a whole new level of excitement. Trading in the lakes for the ocean is like going from a local pond to a big league stadium. While we make it look easy, Getting bait is no simple task and can make or break Thank your you. fishing day down here. Luckily, we have an awesome captain who can throw a 12 foot net about 100 feet with precision. After blacking out the wells, we are off to the first spot of the day. A big shout out to the good people I'm fishing with today. My brother and a family friend who's joining us for his first tarpon adventure. Their enthusiasm and camaraderie make this trip even more special. If you're enjoying the adventure so far, don't forget to hit that like button and stay tuned because the action is just getting started. Let's dive in and make this a fishing trip to remember. Oh, don't get me started. Mackerel? Jack? King Mac? Spanish? Hook out in here? You don't need it? Their tops, I think, are sharp. Well, they call them uh, Sierra? down in Mexico. Sierra. Is it Sierra? Oh, he's going after my minnow. I think he's on. Oh no. Oh, it's a triple tail char. Yeah. I think so. He's coming after my bobber. Yeah, it is a triple tail. He's right under it. Yeah, well that's what they do. They sit on yep. the crab pots. Toughest fish in the salt water. He'll probably come after my bait at one point. They pretend like they're leaves or buoys. Is it still there? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get him in. Should we catch it? It's not big enough to eat, but. Bring it in, I'll net it. All right. Yep. No, it's not. No, it's not. What is that? 
Are you sure it's not? Yeah, I'm 100% sure that's not the only one. It looks pretty fucking cool. It does. Huh. Next spot. Should I drift back or? Good bows, good jumps. That thing was that thing was way up. Don't pull too hard this way. Let's get away from the bridge if we can. Is it going back towards the bridge, Fred? It's not very big. I know, but let's try and keep him away from the bridge if you can. He's about right where we started. Go to the right side. Oh, you're good. You're good. There you go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Just keep it on that side. All right. <laughs> Don't whine when you hear that. Just let him pull. He's he's on a tear right now. Find 
Eis. <laughs> yeah, flip em. Nice. There you go. You're getting them. Yeah, keep, keep working his ass. There you go. You're getting them. Oh yeah, that's the shot. That's good. Yeah, it's perfect. He's he's toasted. You got him. Nice. <laughs> well, that should that should do it. You want a picture? <laughs> All right, I'll grab the rod. I'll grab the phone, and then you'll switch spots with Char. Char, you're gonna you got him. We might want to go from the other side with the sun. You want to grab a different phone? There we go. Into the into the sun. Uh, no, I yeah, he's gone. Nice, dude. Nice. Landed him. What an incredible day on the water. And to think, this was only the first of three epic days in the salt. A big thanks to my brother for always putting us on the fish. And congrats to Brian for landing his first tarpon. And next week's episode, he will do it all himself, so stay tuned. Tarpon are an incredible sport fish and well respected in the fishing community. We want to preserve these trophy fish for generations to come. And to do that, People need to know how special and fun they can be. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we'll be trying out the Sabiki rig for bait, catching a new personal best, and sharing more good times with good people. Until then, thanks for watching and keep on finessing.